I want to turn back to Arnie Gunderson for a moment now, joining us from Burlington, Vermont. What is the significance of the removal of 750 workers from the nuclear plant? How will this affect uh, the effort to prevent a meltdown? It's got to make the efforts worse. Uh, you know, these 750 people that are being evacuated were doing critical work. They weren't sweeping floors and washing windows. They were doing critical work. So when uh, the staff basically is cut, 90 percent of the staff is told you have to leave the site, um, that's an indication that a lot of critical work isn't getting done. I, I really think it's, uh, it's also it's an indication that management at the site has thrown in the towel and um, uh, is going to let this thing run its course without any more human intervention. What that means is that um, um, I'm particularly concerned about a, um, another aftershock especially if an aftershock um, on the weak Unit 2 containment, which uh, already apparently is, has failed uh, and uh, an aftershock would make it worse. Um, the other thing that, that especially concerns me is that uh, a large group of personnel were fighting the fire in the fuel pool on Unit 4. And uh, again, you can't have 60 people on, uh, on a six-unit site and expect that anything gets done. There was the disaster at Three Mile Island, the Chernobyl disaster. This is a disaster of a different sort. There's been three explosions. Are we in uncharted territory right now? Uh, this is certainly, um, right now, uh, bumping up against uh, the magnitude of Chernobyl. Um, it's clearly past what happened at Three Mile Island. Um, and it's not clear that this situation may not get worse, not better. Um, you know, Chernobyl was one reactor. Uh, there are, uh, are three in either partial meltdown or meltdown. And then the other uh, one has a fuel pool fire. And I understand this morning that the temperatures in the other two fuel pools are also increasing. Um, so, uh, you know, I've, I've said before that this could easily become Chernobyl on steroids. It's not there yet, but uh, given that the essential personnel have been evacuated, it could easily get there within 24 hours. And the issue of plutonium, Arnie Gunderson? Yeah, you know, plutonium is named after Pluto, the god of hell. And um, that's an indication that it's a pretty nasty element. Um, it's in all these reactors. Unit 3 was using um, what's called mixed oxide fuel. So Unit 3 had more plutonium than the other units. but. Uh, all of these reactor fuel pools and the, the nuclear reactors themselves have plutonium in them. Um, but when plutonium volatilizes, when it gets hot and turns to a vapor, uh, it can be um, uh, breathed in. And, um, of course, uh, it, it's very um, – it can cause cancer in lungs um, very, very easily. Um, and the containments, which are designed to contain this plutonium, are, um, have failed, at least in Unit 2. I believe in Unit 1 and 3. Um, they are leaking, but they probably haven't failed. So um, it is likely that volatile plutonium is being released right now. Finally, Arnie Gunderson, what is most important for people to understand as they follow the news in these coming days? Um, I guess if I were in Japan, um, I would uh, at least get the children away from the reactor because their bodies are growing faster and their cells are more susceptible to radiation damage. I would go out to 50 kilometers and at least get the children away from the, those reactors. Um, you know, Japan is a long way from the U.S. There's 5,000 miles of ocean for that plume to disperse over. So um, it's a little bit too early to determine what the health effects are on the United States. But it's clear to me we will detect it. Within about five to seven days, um, the plume will hit the West Coast and, and we'll begin to detect the radiation. Uh, exactly what the magnitude of the radiation is, um, as your previous caller said, there's not any good environmental monitoring. There's no monitoring in the plant because, one, there's no people, and two, the instruments have blown up. So we just simply don't know how much radiation is getting out. I think the numbers we're seeing now are on the low side and they don't really represent the true magnitude of what's already happening.